Now California's largest wildfire this year. It has burned. Thousand homes and other buildings are threatened. 115 buildings have been destroyed. Crews are making progress on the fire lines. 85 large wildfires burning. 21 of those. When we hear news of catastrophic wildfires, our thoughts go out to the people affected, the lives and homes lost, and communities changed forever. These are devastating scenes that hit close to the heart and to our home. Here in Marin County, we share the terrain, the dry overgrown vegetation, the periods of drought, and the seasonal winds that many of the largest and most deadly wildfires in history. You probably wondered, could it happen here? And the answer is yes. Hi, I'm Mark Brown, Executive Officer for Marin Wildfire. I want to help you understand what's driving these catastrophic wildfires so you can appreciate the urgency of our situation and the need for us to take action now. As I often say, let's look at the past to predict the future. We've always had wildfires here in California. They are a natural and healthy part of our ecology. Look at these burn scars here. It just shows how resilient nature really is. These trees are continuing to thrive many years after the fire. Fires of the past and low intensity fires today help clear out overgrowth from our forest floors and rejuvenate our native vegetation. Wildfires only really become a problem when they burn out of control, threaten lives, and destroy homes. This happened famously in Marin in 1923 when a fire burned from Ignacio through Lucas and Nicasio Valleys to Woodacre, Lagunitas, and Bolinas Ridge. In 1995, the Vision Fire burned over 12,000 acres and destroyed 45 homes. After the fire burned through the Paradise Ranch Estates, it made a run to the coast and set records for its rate of spread and intensity. Even the ice plant on Limitor Spit burned. The only thing that stopped that fire that night was the Pacific Ocean. We got lucky because of the fire's location. In 2020, the Woodward Fire made a similar run to the coast and we were lucky again. An interesting note about these fires is that their footprints show how the pathways of fire are driven by wind, interacting with the terrain, and fed by dry fuel along the way. These remain the same conditions that predict wildfire behavior today. In fact, the National Weather Service issues red flag warnings on days that have high sustained winds and low moisture content in vegetation. If we're going to experience a catastrophic wildfire here in Marin, it is likely to be during a red flag warning. The high winds can spread a small fire rapidly through fuels and get out of control quickly. This is when we all need to be on high alert, ready to evacuate and ready to help people who may need assistance. The wildfires that we see today are on a different level than anything we have seen in the past. The intensity and speed of these mega fires are overwhelming. Let me give you an example. The Hanley Fire in 1964 burned almost the exact same footprint as the Tubbs Fire in 2017. The difference is that what took two and a half days to burn in 1964 took six hours in 2017. These are the catastrophic wildfires we know today. They burn hot, they travel fast, and they cast embers long distance ahead of the fire. So, how do we get here? We can point to three areas of innovative success that led us to the fire conditions we have today. First, we got better at putting out fires. Our modern fire detection and firefighting strategies work, and we learned to successfully suppress fires so well that we did not allow the fire to do its job of burning off underbrush and old vegetation. So our forests are overgrown and invasive species have encroached on our landscape, choking out natives that are better for our ecosystem. Second, more people began to move to Marin, building homes in the wildlands. With people living in the wildlands, firefighters need to protect them by putting out fires rather than allowing fire to do its good work. And as people built further into the wildlands, they used winding narrow roads up hillsides that were intended only for horse and carriage and Model A's. These are essentially the same roads we rely on for our evacuation routes today. And the third major contributor to wildfire conditions is climate change. 
unencumbered industrial success has led to carbon emissions that heat our planet, affect our weather, and dry out our fuels. The good news is we have entered a new era of wildfire preparedness that is unlike anything we have seen in the past, and Marin County is leading the way. Good morning, Supervisors. Jason Weber, County Fire Chief. Uh, thank you for having us here today. In 2020, we became the first county in the U.S. to invest over $20 million annually for wildfire prevention. We brought together the expertise of 17 independent fire agencies into one coordinated effort under the newly created Marin Wildfire Prevention Authority, now known as Marin Wildfire. Our goal is to become a fire adapted community, which means doing everything we can to lower our risks and be ready to move people out of harm's way efficiently if needed. I want to highlight a few examples to show you the scale of our wildfire prevention efforts. We have a comprehensive network of cameras with artificial intelligence built in for fire detection. We have an efficient evacuation management platform that allows our fire ground commanders to select evacuation zones and seamlessly alert the residents with evacuation warnings and orders. We have artificial intelligence tools to model evacuation traffic to identify the best routes. We are creating shaded fuel breaks around much of Marin. These are essentially enhanced defensible space zones where our communities meet the wildlands. The goal of a shaded fuel break is to slow the spread of fire, decrease its intensity and its ember production. From your home we have a comprehensive home evaluation program which produces a personalized plan for residents to lower their risks to themselves, their families, and their neighborhood. So what does this mean to you? I want you to use your wildfire risk report as your guide to harden your home, making it less ignitable. And I want you to create fire smart landscaping around your home so when embers land in your yard, they don't spread to your home. We've also improved our grant program to help offset costs for high priority projects, and we will provide direct assistance to designated properties. The hard truth of the matter is that we live in a wildfire prone area. When conditions are dry and the wind is strong, a wildfire could spread rapidly in Marin. Join us in being prepared for that day. With your landscape and your home hardened against ember ignition, with your bags packed and ready to evacuate, and with the knowledge that we have done everything we can to protect our community together.